to RNC chief strategist Sean Spicer. Sean, are you worried that things could get unruly? No, I'm not. I think that we have a fantastic team out there. The Secret Service is the lead when it comes to law enforcement. Uh, they've done a phenomenal job taking every precaution necessary, working with state and local officials. We're going to have a fantastic convention. It'll be uh, unbelievably safe, and I think everyone who attends it will enjoy themselves. And those watching at home will see a, a phenomenal process unfold. Uh, throughout throughout our, our entire convention. We're going to have a great convention. I think people are going to be really proud of the Republican Party. You know, while I have you here, what did you make of uh, Ted Cruz and this Carly Fiorina announcement? Um, obviously, is trying to uh, slow the momentum of Donald Trump, but uh, just over the course of today, as you know, Sean, Donald Trump has picked up an additional, it looks like, 50-some-odd delegates. He's closing in on 1,000 delegates, needing a little bit more than 237 to win the whole thing outright. Well, that's right. And I think, you know, we've got two different camps going right now, right? One camp, Donald Trump is trying to get to that magic number of 1,237 bound delegates to become the presumptive nominee heading to Cleveland. And I think the other two camps, both Senator Cruz and Governor Kasich, are trying to figure out how do they stop that from happening. Um, and so, what, you know, announcements as the one yesterday are, are an attempt to, you know, make sure that they contrast themselves with that campaign. Um, it gives them one more surrogate on the on the trail that in a, in a different profile. So, Look, each of these campaigns is going to run the strategy that they need or they deem best for their campaign. But, you know, as we head into this crucial phase, as we get into the last 10 states, you're going to see a lot of exciting things happen in the next few few weeks uh, because people are realizing that the eyes of the world are on on our side and they want the attention that, that their campaign needs. You know, I think every day we have you on and I always love having you on. Something happens. No, you forgot yesterday. Something happens that is a Pepto-Bismol moment for you. And I wonder how you and the party handle it. First of all, with John Boehner saying some rather unsavory things about Ted Cruz, then Senator Cruz's reaction. Let's listen to this. How about Ted Cruz? <laughs> He's not directing that at me. He's directing that at you. And what made John Boehner mad is that I led a movement of the people to hold Washington accountable. All right, very little kumbaya going on there. What did you make of this? Well, I think you and I have talked about this before. I, I'd rather concentrate our firepower on Hillary Clinton and talk about the reason that she's so distrusted and the direction that she takes this country. Uh, so I don't, whether it's any of the folks, I, I just think all of our comments, uh, we, should, we should focus our fire on them and talk about what makes our, our party and our candidates better than her. So, you know, I, I just am not a fan of that. You know what he's saying here is you know. he's fueling an argument that is Speaker Boehner, former Speaker Boehner, that, you know, left to his brothers, he would prefer Donald Trump and not Ted Cruz saying to the Stanford Daily, I have Democrat friends, Republican friends. I get along with almost everyone, but I've never worked with a more miserable son of a bitch in my life. How does that help anyone's cause? Well, again, you're not going to get any disagreement from there. I think that we've got two, we've got three candidates right now that want to head into Cleveland. One of them may clinch that 1237, the other two won't. I think each one of them and their supporters should focus on why their candidate is best. Go out there and make those arguments. And focus, you know, and, and, and focus their messaging on that. I really don't think it's helpful for the party when we're attacking each other. The only way that we're going to win is if we grow the Republican Party, grow the conservative movement. Each of the three individuals that's left standing right now has whittled down from that, that number of 17. Frankly, it was a lot more than that when you look at yeah. the number of people actually filed. But the fact of the matter is those are the people that our voters have chosen. Um, and, and whoever that individual is that carries okay. the mantle of our nomination, we need to make sure that they've got the, the stamina to, and, and support to win in, in, uh, in November. There's too much at stake, Neil. And gotcha. I think the idea that we're focused on fighting each other just doesn't help. It does not. But it makes your life interesting. Sean Spicer, thank you very much. Jane 